From WRL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your coronavirus, North Carolina News Brief for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. I'm Cliff Bumgardner. Here's the latest from WRL.com. Technically, today is tax day. In a normal year, many people would be scrambling to get everything filed. But because of the coronavirus pandemic, the federal and state governments have postponed the filing date to July 15th. People who don't file their taxes by April 15th technically owe interest on the money owed to the state. Governor Roy Cooper and legislative leaders have committed to waiving interest on certain unpaid taxes once the General Assembly convenes later this month. But for now, the State Department of Revenue doesn't have the authority to excuse the interest. Today, stimulus checks should be in the bank accounts of some 80 million people. For most people who have filed their 2018 taxes, the money was deposited automatically. People who didn't give their information to the IRS may have to update their addresses or direct deposit information. To check on the status of your stimulus payment, visit irs.gov slash coronavirus. Coronavirus concerns have prompted the State Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services to cancel the annual Got to Be NC Festival, which highlights foods produced in North Carolina. In an online post, the department said, quote, We know how much our community enjoys coming out and getting a taste of what North Carolina agriculture is all about. It's a highlight of the spring for our staff, vendors, sponsors, and entertainers as well. We look forward to welcoming you back to the fairgrounds when it is safe for all of us to gather. End quote. If you're having trouble finding meat at your grocery store, you're not alone. Rob Hanfield, a supply chain management professor at North Carolina State University, says it could be a few weeks before shoppers see a difference at their local grocer because there's a roughly 30-day supply in regional distribution centers and another month's worth of meat in cold storage. Thousands of workers have been ordered off the job at packing plants across the country. On Sunday, Smithfield Foods announced the shutdown of its Sioux Falls, South Dakota factory, where more than 230 employees tested positive for COVID-19. The plant employs 3,700 workers in total. The company says its operations in Wilson, which employs 600 workers, and Tar Heel, which employs 4,000 workers, will continue processing meat. Other meat producers, including Tyson, have shut down factories because of positive cases of coronavirus and safety concerns from employees who have chosen not to report to work. From WREL TechWire, A wide variety of companies across the Triangle in North Carolina continue to search for talent, despite the ongoing coronavirus crisis that has led to more than 560,000 state residents applying for unemployment. A check of job sites early Wednesday found lists for thousands of open positions in North Carolina. For example, Spectrum is hosting a jobs fair on April 22nd as it seeks to fill open spots at its Triangle operations. And the North Carolina Technology Association, a business advocacy group, will put on a virtual job fair of its own on May 20th. People searching for jobs can find availabilities in the Triangle on websites like Glassdoor and LinkedIn. This has been your Coronavirus, North Carolina News Brief for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. As always, if you like the information and resources you get from this show, let us know by leaving a rating and review on whatever podcasting app you use. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our latest episodes. Thanks for listening.